Welcome back to Car Mechanic Simulator, where last time I built this Ford Mustang. And when I say I built this, I actually mean I ruined this vehicle. Today, we are building a very, very special car. Let's head off to the car auction. Say hello to the DeLorean DMC-12. How sick is this? We've got our engine in the back. I would imagine we're gonna do an engine swap to this thing. Overall, though, I think this DeLorean actually looks really, really clean. The DeLorean is two stars out of five. It's got a hell of a lot of miles on it, and the starting price is less than 2,000 bucks. So let's see if we can get a steal on this. I, I would be happy with like less than 10K. Less than 10. Less than 10. Okay, more more than 10. L less than 15. Less than 15. L le less than... Less than 20? Thank you. Okay, I think I've lost a hell of a lot of money. I paid 18,000 bucks for the DeLorean. Yo, you think we can drive the car and go back in time to get some of our money back? I think it actually is stainless steel under there. All right, let's use the car wash thing though. Is it actually gonna be silver under all of that dirt? Is it black? No way! I guess we gotta turn this DeLorean back into a beast. Let's bring over the welder, weld up the frame. I want this DeLorean to be picture perfect, so fix up that nasty, nasty frame on there. Yo, look at that radiator. That's really cool. Everything has gotta go. Rear bumper, all of the lights, the engine, air intake, everything. Those wheels are perfect DeLorean wheels. We've gotta make sure to use the same ones. Once we're done rebuilding the car, those are so perfect. I think you can see what I mean, though. It's not actually that bad. I mean, if there are any parts I can save, I might. Oh, I'm missing a lot of parts on the rear here. My outer tie rod, I mean, it's got a little bit of rust on it, but it's a DeLorean, and I think probably every DeLorean on the planet has rust on it. But I'm wondering about the engine swaps for our DeLorean. I mean, doesn't a DeLorean in real life have, like, a little V6? If I really wanted to, we could always toss in that V8 that we had in that Mustang the other time. I mean, since we've now built a bunch of cars in Car Mechanic Sim, we've now got essentially a bunch of donor cars that we can just steal some engines from. Wait, don't we also have a 2JZ powered Lamborghini? We could 2JZ swap a DeLorean. I think if I do that, though, people are gonna try to send me back in time. Fuel tank has also gotta go. I'm surprised this fuel tank can even hold fuel. I don't know if the DeLorean's missing parts, but um, it doesn't actually have any suspension. The whole wheel assembly is literally connected through the axle directly to the gearbox. There is not a spring in sight. The only thing that has to go is our engine, so let's bring over the engine crane. Come on out, oil. There's actually oil in this thing? I don't know what's sketchier, the suspension or the oil that just came out of this. Now we can test our pullout game. Let's go. Thank you very much. That is a shell of a DeLorean. You can see the area for the spare tire in the front there. You can see the whole like subframe running through and into the rear. That's so cool. Before we even start to rebuild the DeLorean, let's head over to the repair table and repair all of the parts in my hands so we can save some money. We're already done at the repair table. All of our parts have been repaired. Now that is perfect. I might need to buy some new like rubber bushings and stuff, but I think overall we're looking pretty good. Back to the DeLorean though, what engines can I swap into here? No way, I can have a V8 DOHC supercharged engine? Don't say that to me. Okay, DeLorean, uh, you gotta go outside, buddy. Wasn't this Mustang a V8 DOHC supercharged? Yes, it was. Mustang, you are gonna have our donor engine for the DeLorean. Let's raise you up into the air. We're also gonna yoink the gearbox and the starter, save even more money. This is actually a custom gearbox that we had on our Mustang. I think I'm actually about to build the world's fastest DeLorean. So now I can swap the cars again. Bring on back the DeLorean, please. Oh, this is gonna look so sick with the engine in the back. All right, toss our brand new engine in. Let's go. No way, it actually fits really, really well. Okay. I guess right away we'll get our gearbox installed and stuff. That's that's so sick. We do need to get a muffler and a muffler. All right, let's grab them. We're even gonna come to the salvage container upgrade 
our rear muffler even more. That's going to be 2.6% extra horsepower from each of those. So 5% horsepower boost. If you didn't see the video on that Ford Mustang, when I built that car, it already has a whole bunch of upgrades that went into this engine. For example, like the alternators upgraded. It's got really fancy fuel rails, the superchargers upgraded, and so on. I guess now that we've got our engine in, let's get our suspension back in as well. So front cross member, luckily I went in and repaired all of those parts. So we should have pretty much everything to toss onto this vehicle now. I think the only thing we're actually gonna have to purchase for this thing is brand new shock absorbers. And I think that's gonna be it. We're gonna need a new double wishbone shock absorber because all of the ones I have are sus. This thing is gonna be worth so much money because I've literally just stolen parts off of other cars. Wait, what? Twitch chat wasn't lying? They added in performance brakes? We've got drilled and slotted brake discs. That's so cool. Yo, get these pieces of garbage off of my vehicle. Are you guys saying it increases your braking performance by 4%? I think that would make sense. So let's go for two of them. Wait, wait, wait. I can upgrade these even more. Plus 5.2% braking performance. That is so cool. Thank you, Twitch chat, for telling me about the brand new feature. That's awesome. I really hope that is the start of more to come in the future. I would love to see more performance upgrades like that. Anyways, we're nearly done with all of our front suspension. Only a couple more bits and bobs to toss on. New fuel tank installed, new fuel pump installed. That's already upgraded as well. Front suspension's already done all the way up there. Let's now do the rear suspension. I think I'm literally gonna need to buy like two parts for this vehicle. I, I, I make it, make it, make it three. Get my fancy new brake disc installed. That is so cool. I love the look of them as well. Like that properly looks like a carbon ceramic brake. I wonder when we're actually driving, I wonder if it's going to squeak like a real like carbon ceramic brake does. Is that the entire rear suspension finished up as well? Like I don't think I missed any rubber bushings. Everything looks pretty good. Please don't pay attention to how our axle doesn't actually connect to our gearbox in any meaningful way. Radiator A, get that installed. Very nice. Radiator fan housing. No way. No way. I've got all the fans already. Do I have a brake servo? I have every part. I literally have every part for this vehicle. I must have forgot something. That was way too fast. Now we need to get some tires and rims for the DeLorean. So we've got to remember, we've got this big, big engine in there. So we probably gonna get some wider tires than the ones that were on here. These were 195 and 235. We'll bump that up a little bit. The rim size was also super small. Let's get something a little bit more aggressive. And then we need those really, really cool rims that we had on before. Oh, whoa, which one are they? There's all of these that look similar. These look kind of gross. Twitch chat's already saying that I'm ruining the vehicle with these tires. Let's see. So we need 285 in the rear. There we go. I think these should look pretty good. I hope they fit. I really hope. Hey! They're a little bit big, but you know, you win some, you lose some, you can't nail every single tire size. Back outside we go, and now we can do some DeLorean customization. Look at this thing. I love how low that is. That's me. Here's the really cool thing about the DeLorean in Car Mechanic Simulator. This isn't like any other DeLorean you've seen before. I think you can see what we're gonna do. Let's go front bumper. We've got a ton of front bumper options here. No way, there's a Ready Player One version? Take a look at all of our fender options we have. I have a wide body DeLorean fender. Front bumper? So I want to see this Ready Player... It's like if Kit and the DeLorean had a baby. I think we totally need that. Let's also see the, this wide body. No way, I can go way more aggressive. Look at that stainless steel texture on there too. Wait, so we've got a couple of different hood options here. We've got a hood with a fuel door cut out. That's cool. Or the vent thrust hood from Back to the Future. Okay, hood on there, the vent hood. No way. No way, we're making like the craziest DeLorean that's 
ever made. Yo, I love how you can actually see the stainless steel running through, though. Like, that's obviously very stainless steel. All right, let's get some rear fenders on this thing and a rear bumper as well. Look at all of my rear fender options. I've got Back to the Future ones. You know we gotta run with those. Uh, let's just go for some regular old headlights. These ones, letter E. Look at those DeLorean parts. That is so cool. I actually love how unique this car is. Like, with this hood thing on it, with this crazy front bumper. Anyways, I need a rear bumper and an engine cover. Okay, let's go for those. Does that mean I'm gonna break down more often? Yes, we're going more back to the future part. Power coils? What are these things? Look at that up there. Rear clamshell. Take a look at all of these different clamshells that I have. This one's painted. Yo, that's pretty cool. Or do I want to run with something a little bit crazier with all of the Back to the Future gadgets on there? I think we need to. That is so crazy. Forza Horizon developers better be watching this right now and taking notes. Yeah, I, I don't think the wide body really fits the DeLorean. Like, we've got so much other stuff going on. I, I don't think we need a wide body kit for this. I think we just go regular Back to the Future stuff with more wires on it. It's very, very subtle looking, but I think that makes a big difference. Let's go. I like that. I noticed that my front bumper and my rear bumper didn't actually match the rest of the car. So let's see if I can fix it. If I go factory color, no, that doesn't fix it. You know, I, I think I've done a pretty good job hiding that. Let's go. A thousand bucks for the paint job. Thank you very much, DeLorean. We have definitely made the ultimate mashup DeLorean with that hood, that crazy bumper. I'm pretty sure the rear of this vehicle is from like three different movies. So factory horsepower was 292 horsepower. That's a lot of horsepower. Let's go. Nearly 600 horsepower out of the DeLorean. That's awesome. I mean, it sucks that our engine isn't as efficient as it was in the other vehicle, but you know, whatever. I like the DeLorean. I like the, oh, it's quick. Whoa, it's actually really quick. Whoa, it's actually a Mustang with the Mustang engine. Oh yeah, let's use an engine from a Mustang, they said. It would be fun, they said. Bro, I, I'm doing a burnout at 100 miles an hour. If it wasn't for all the wheel spin this thing got, it would actually be a really nice race car. All right, I think I can make this a little bit better with some gear ratio stuff. I'm heading off to the racetrack this time. I don't expect this to be a top speed vehicle. I've only got 600 horsepower. And when I compare that with the 4,000 horsepower that I had in the last video, yeah, I think it's safe to say that this is never really gonna get similar sort of top speed. Beat. But I think, provided I can get grip, I I think it'll do fairly well here. An emphasis on the try to find. I'm gonna just put some better tires on. Here we go. Slick racing tires. We're getting all four the same size, 16 inch. These tires we're tossing on are not only grippier but they're also wider. So they should have a load more grip now and we shouldn't be a wannabe Mustang anymore. Somebody says, just delete the brakes, you wimp. If you hit the throttle hard enough, eventually you might stop by hitting a tree. DeLorean, if you spin your wheels now, then I have no idea what's wrong with you. Whoa. 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 Whoa! It just, it genuinely doesn't drive that well. Where, where are you, where do you think you're going? I'm barely pressing the throttle and it just goes, yeah, yeet, spin. And the brakes aren't even that good. I think legit, this is actually probably the coolest DeLorean that we've ever made. It's kind of a mashup of all the best bits of DeLorean and... We made this after all of that DeLorean. Keep in mind, we didn't actually spend a bunch of money on this car. Although it might not drive really well, it might be one of my best money makers. Let's see. No. 120,000 bucks? What absolute stonks for the DeLorean. What a beast. Wait, what? I'm missing a whole fuse box? How does my car even turn on without a fuse box? 
I looked everywhere for it. It was on top of the battery. 